Our bad luck with the AF2000 continues. We've been prepping her to go to the track and we've got no VTEC. Is this the problem? Stay tuned to find out. So I pulled the Badass 2000 kind of out of storage, out of hibernation, and decided to stretch its legs before we take it to the racetrack and notice we have yet another problem. We've just been plagued with problems. Um, the VTEC is not engaging, but only when it's hot. So when the car gets up to temperature and on our uh, autometer gauges, I can see up just around 70 PSI. So when it's cold, it's around 90. The VTEC is engaging and then driving for about another five to 10 minutes, no more VTEC and we're down to about 70 PSI, which is still okay. Um, so I started troubleshooting, trying to figure out what the problem was. Um, we were at On Point Dyno. He gave us a, a quick little session just to put the, the car on the pods and, and see what was going on. And we tested the actual wiring to make sure that our VTEC solenoid is getting a trigger and it is but it wasn't turning on the solenoid. So then I decided, well, let's swap solenoids. We borrowed a used one, put it on, still the same problem. So I decided now the next step to do, what to do is to remove it and look in the passage and see if we've got a, 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 a oil pressure problem in the head because I think, you know, down below we can have 70 PSI and, and not have an issue, but there may be something clogging the, um, the oil port. And unfortunately, this has been on for a week and the solenoid has a screen here that catches debris. And if you look closely, this does not look good because that's very metal-like and copper-like. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I can think of yeah. that is copper are bearings. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. So we're, uh, we're not looking too good here. The next step is, you're gonna follow along as we try to see what's wrong with this thing, is to drain the oil and see if we have more of these shavings because if we do, then... Um, time for a stroker kit, bro. Then it's, no, then it's time for another stock motor. <laughs> we're going back to stock motor, man. K24 swap PT. No, 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 no. I just want this car running well and so far it, uh, it hasn't been so... V8 S2000 PT. No, no, Dave, 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 Dave. We gotta, I wanna enjoy the badass. 2 as, as it is, as it is. So, anyways, now let's go ahead and uh, drain the oil, see what we're dealing with. The one upside to having to drain the oil out of the S2000 is it gives us a chance to use our new quick jack. It's a little hydraulic jack setup that our friends at Benpack sent us. You may have seen these on YouTube before. They're like all the rage now, we figured as. Yeah, we want to get into the party. We got to get in on this action. So it's a very simple system. It's got these two jack mechanisms that slide into the underside of the car. Comes with different size rubber blocks that you literally just position on these stands that go to the, the factory pickup points along the frame rail. Slide it under there, like the beast that I am. And then we hook up our hydraulic lines to the line that I've run underneath there in the correct fashion. Hook it up to our unit, which is plugged in for power, and then we uh, use our up-down button. I can let Pete do all the button pressing, though. I'm just here to talk about I've, stuff. I haven't used this yet, so I'm excited right, to try well, this out. I'm not exactly convinced that this doesn't leak, but <laughs> oh, I think we'll, I, I'm sure it's all good, right? I think we'll be fine. It, that's impressive. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a... It really is a dry seal. A dry break. Yeah. I don't know. It's not really a dry break. That's for racing fuel, but you know what I mean. Quick disconnect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is there a specific order matters. up or down? Yeah, it doesn't matter? I don't think so. All right, well. <gasps> See, look, I didn't get it in the hole there. Show me a little bit of oil. There we go. Of your life, BT. I know. Right on there. Butter. All right. Okay, so we're hooked up. Yeah. Can I hit the button? Let's try it. And I see. think we're lined up underneath yeah. the car. She's plugged in. We got power. Ooh. I'm just going for it. Give her. That's pretty awesome. That actually. is. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, you can see the locks. Oh, I think we got them on the wrong side. The lock's supposed to be on the outside. 
What's that? See how the lock's on the inside? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be on the outside. Eh. What does it matter if it's on the inside or the outside? It's a lock though, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. It's just easier to get at if it's on the outside. Well. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys what we're on about. I think we should have swapped them from left to right so that locking arm is more accessible because you need to be able to unlock it when you lower the car. We can still reach under there and unlock it. But that wasn't a textbook install, people. Oh, no. Do yeah. it. Sorry, Ben Pack. Do uh, it right. That's, we'll do that's it. my mistake. This we'll... is my first, legitimately, my first time using this. Yeah. Now, uh, since you're an expert at this, DP, yeah, yeah. do I have to go further with this here? Or... Uh, yeah, you want to go over that last little lock hump, hump there. All right. And uh, we should lock it in. There we go. Yeah. So this is officially, I guess it's already in the... That's in the, if this were to fall, this would just slide would forward slide into and, that and bar catch. there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that'll keep you alive, I think. All right. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, That's man. actually pretty high. It is pretty high. Well, let's uh, see how you fit under there for this uh, oil change that we're doing. Uh, now, see, I was getting happy there, thinking happy thoughts with new equipment, and now I'm back to just being sad because of the situation that I'm worried we're going to see. But let's just get to it. It'll make the hurting stop faster. Yeah. Very easy. Clean Look at that. That's a clean move. That is a clean move. And this is a magnetic uh, drain plug. Yeah. Um. And there's a <laughs> there's a bit of gunk on it, man. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of gunk on it. Yeah, there. it's pretty fine though. It's not what we're seeing up in the uh, solenoid. No, it's a different color, although. Yeah, that's that's like this is super fine though. Yeah. That's not a right. good sign either. No. I've never seen that much gunk on a magnetic plug before. While the oil drains, I pulled the filter off and uh, we just watched a video online that you use a pair of tin snips to kind of open it up. I was going to use a cutting disc, but it seems like that's a messy way. So I'm going to see if this tin snips trick works. He was used, doing it on a cheap oil frame filter, not that trusty Canon one. I can already see this thing's tougher. Tougher, definitely tougher. Or maybe your tin snips are dull compared to his. I do have another set. Well, feel this. This is thick here, man. Yeah, that is really thick there. You're right. I'm going to have to gnaw at this for a while to, to kind of get through it, but I'll get there. Take two with the better tin snips. Oh, yeah. So the quality in these is way better. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. See? Get through there. I'm getting there. This is only a half hour show, PT. We don't have all day here. <laughs> Well, this may take me half an hour, but I feel like I'll get there eventually. I, like... I don't know. I'm making your die grinder idea is not so bad after all. Yeah, maybe. Dull blade. Dull blade, and it's slow. Yeah, it's still strong. Is it uh, a problem you have at home getting into like your tuna cans too, or there are devices for that that make it much easier? I think there's also a tool that there is. Yeah. Kind of allows you to do this job. Works like almost using a can opener, right? Yeah, I think on so. A, I don't like the metal on this. It's just so thick. It is. It's crazy. It's beyond impressive. Like seriously. <laughs> what are you guys doing, KNN? You don't want anyone looking in your filters? This is quite the setup, PT. Trying to make this work. Though making myself look like an ass. You really want to look inside this filter badly, eh? I do. And now I'm just curious. Just don't remove a toe here. All right. Success. Success, yeah. After that was like battles. 20 minutes and um, it's tough. I can see a bit, I don't know if you guys can see that, a bit of bronze shavings, much smaller than what is in the uh, the screen of the VTEC solenoid. Yeah. So I necessarily wouldn't call this Inclusive? out, of the, or out yeah. of the ordinary. I've seen this before on cars. And okay. I mean, I took the filter and kind of just like Cut it open pulled, a a, pulled it apart a bit. And you yeah. really can't see a whole lot of shavings in here. It's no. pretty clean, yeah. right? So uh, again, I think that's inconclusive. So... Let's check the oil now. Yeah. We'll drain that and then we'll move on. Ugh. I'm gonna make some coffee PT style here. Except that this is gonna take a very long time to drain. So I'm yeah. just gonna pour a small amount in here. Well, I think the coffee filter doesn't work so well. The oil's a little bit too thick. 
but you can see it, it, it's past and geez there's really nothing there yeah i don't see any metallic so slate there at all, I, eh? yeah i, I don't the next step <laughs> let's see what's like in the bottom of the oil, oil pan bit, here like, well give it a usually you can see if there's large the flakes at yeah. the bottom of the pan yeah so let's just pour this out i mean it's clean it's, really it's not, bad, it's not bad there's nothing there there's just like a little bit a tiny bit but, but you can't even pick that up like that to me is really normal yeah that's not a murder Everything does seem to look normal up in the head and I kind of suspected that just because we do have VTEC engaging and working when the engine is cold. So it's time for us to pull the oil pan. I really didn't want to do this, but it's off. Uh, we should have a pan maybe to put on the floor underneath the motor uh, or just let her drain. Let her drain. I'm gonna put this down. Yeah. Let's dump all this oil out. Oh, look at that sheen it's got now. <laughs> see a lot of shine in that oil. Well, I don't think the oil's a problem. More so of what I see in here. Oh man, that's some big And there's chunk. some... Some serious chunkage here, like Holy look at... Sh that's our TV. That's our but TV, yeah, that but... TV, what is Yeah, that? like look at this, this is... That is... Very large pieces of metal. And actually look at, like... There's massive ones in here i don't know i don't know if you can see this or not but yeah there's there's a ton of there's that's our tv there but like look at this it's kind of fitting that uh, it's starting to rain outside yeah, those are tears from heaven that those are tears from heaven vtech tears from heaven happening because if you see all uh, of that that is a I lot mean, of metal there's really I personally think only one thing this can be, and that's got to be bearing, because I don't know anywhere else where you can find copper yeah. in a motor, and we haven't spun a rod bearing, but we are probably very, very close. I think if we had this on the track one more time, it would be game over. Yeah. So um, I think we're going to drop one of the, the rod caps and have a look and see, and we'll probably have our answer there, but... Let's go do this. I, I already can see yeah, it's like trouble the, on the, the, the horizon like, here. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have ourselves a miracle fix. No, so. no. Oh, you know, I don't, I've really never done this either. So this is a first. We're moving a, uh, a rod cap on the, on on the, the motor. In the car like this, yeah. So uh, watch along here. And, don't do like we do if we're not doing this right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know. I mean, it's the motor has got to be rebuilt or in our case, just put away and replaced with another stock motor. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll deal with that when we need to, but um, I don't really know. Like, can you just for, get away with replacing just the bearings? Sure you can. I've done that on yeah, like like, like, B18s where I spun uh, a, a rod bearing just on like one rod. Went in and replaced the bearing, and the motor was good to go. So. And you're ripping tech again, huh? Yeah, so it can definitely be done. So, all right, well, that's loose. Do I just... I mean, the good thing is we caught this before the motor really grenaded. Correct. So it is definitely salvageable. All right. It's a matter on. of do we want to get into that, into a teardown, or do we just want to drop another motor in? All right, guys, the moment of truth is... Looks extremely clean. Yeah, that one looks good. <laughs> but of course, it I don't know. Be. Can you can they see that? Can you yeah. guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that one looks really good. But I, uh, you know, you got many. You got four more to check on the mains, and then you got the rods. It's more likely a rod bearing than it is a main bearing. The mains are so much bigger and more stable. Yeah. Well, the problem is, I mean, I I can go removing a whole bunch of these, um, but. I think we're better off just pulling the motor out, out yeah. of the car and then we can do a proper disassembly, have a close look at it out of, you know, for our own curiosity. Yeah. And decide if we want to refresh this block or start over with uh, something else. We don't want to end this video on a negative note. Yes, the motor has trouble, but on the bright side, let's look at our quick jack system and how well it works here. <laughs> That's right. So I'm about to lower it. I don't think it's going to pinch any uh, hoses under there. Hoses because it's designed not to do that. Yeah. So I'm just going to hit the down button. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. And 
strange. So what do I do now? Is it going to clear on the... Uh... I think you already moved that to unlock position. Uh, I yeah. did, yeah. So is it going to clear it again? Let's it should just sort of skid right over the Oh, it the does? Lock. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Damn. Nice. Victory. Well, that's our only victory of the day, Victory PC. for today, yeah. <laughs> and I guess that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Thanks for watching this episode. And... Uh, now you know what's wrong with the S2000. So there will be a couple more episodes coming up. We're just not sure what we're gonna do, whether we're gonna tear the motor apart, see what uh, what's wrong with it, or just replace it with another stock unit. 2J. So, uh, you know what? Sure, we're gonna do a 2J. That's what Dave <laughs> says. He's gonna make this happen. He's gonna cut it up and fit a massive six cylinder with a turbo and we're gonna go ripping the track in two weeks. On the next episode, 2J S2000. The VTech gods are really crying now, PT. They know. So sad. They know what's Cry for our F20C, everyone. It's a sad day at the Speed Academy shop. <laughs> <laughs>